Happy New Year guys and this is our first video of the year and I would like to talk about where transsexuals will be in the next 10 years. So when I look at the way society sees transsexual women, I kind of think we are going to follow the same exact path that gays have been through. Let me explain. Gays and lesbians and bisexuals have gone a long way towards acceptance. Nowadays, not only we have laws in favor of gays like anti-discrimination or same-sex marriage, but it's also socially very okay to be gay. It is seen as perfectly normal as being part of the diversity of our society. Even better than this, people like to get surrounded by gay people, we present gays on TV, even corporations proudly show that they have LGBT communities. Being gay or being surrounded by gays has become a synonym of being open-minded, progressive, and modern. But it has not always been the case. Remember a couple of years ago, mentalities were pretty different. It was even illegal to be gay. Alan Turing, if it rings a bell, uh, a father of modern computing and who helped decipher German teletransmission during World War II was a gay and sentenced by the Justice of England to forced chemical castration. Her Majesty presented her public apologies December last, last year. There were times when gays were said to be sinners and mentally sick people. Even nowadays, conservative idiots, excuse me for my French, still believe in that. But overall, the society is now accepting and even praising homosexuals. But it's unfortunately not the case for transgender people yet. Just like gays before, transgender people are still mostly seen as freaks, sinners, or mentally sick people. And the men who love transgender women are equally seen as freaks or fetishists. If you tell people that you're gay, the reaction is just fine. Okay, you're a guy, you're, I mean, you're gay, fine with me, let's grab a beer. But if you tell people that you like transsexual women, they start to look at you weird and funny. The media are essentially responsible for that. This is very rare to see transgender people well represented on TV or on the internet. TV shows will like to make it sensational. They will show you the prostitutes, the cabaret dancers, the documentaries about surgery and testimonials of psychologists. On the internet, this is mostly about pornography and it's a very popular type of pornography. If you don't know yet, I can tell you. Even cinema movies and TV series will most of the time show you transsexuals who are either prostitutes, dancers, or even serial killers. And that's unfair because that's not representing the trans community in all its diversity and may I say, in all its beauty. But well, just like gays manage to raise themselves to a level of acceptance that's perfectly fine and even better than fine. I believe the trans community will also rise to it. It's just a matter of time and I see already good signs of it. I live in the Philippines, which is a very conservative country and this country is so well accepting LGBTs and that includes trans community. They are all well represented in almost every layer of the society and well respected. This is what I often like to show as an example and I hope this will shine, spread and reach the other parts of the world. I see also a lot more men, just like my boyfriend, who openly admit their attraction and stand for it and stand for their trans girlfriend. Actually, it's the case of most of the men who sign up on our dating site. All of this is giving me good hope that this is only the beginning of it, of, the, of this vision to, to that someday being trans will be as much accepted as any other condition that men who date trans women will not be looked down like freak anymore but will even be envied by the other men because they have the courage to stand for what they know what makes them happy. That is that is where I believe transsexual women and transgender people as a whole are going to get in 10 years. Hopefully even less. Well, 
this is my point of view, I would definitely love to hear yours. That's what the comment section of YouTube is made for, just down there. So please leave me some comments if you'd like to react to this video. This has been Maggie from My Little Boy Date. Thanks for watching and see you next time for another entertaining and educating video. Ciao.